Okay, so in this video, we're going to be carrying on from where we left off, where we made the company file available. So what we're going to do is turn on multi-user hosting by going to file up in the top left, uh, utilities, uh, host multi-user access. And uh, do you want to host? Yes, we do. And we need to allow administrative permissions to Windows to make changes to our system. Uh, I am an administrator, so it just went straight through, but you might have to type in your password there. Um, if you do get any error messages, just restart your computer. Um, it will be that QuickBooks is running somewhere, some kind of process that's stopping this installation. So just restart your computer, do the same again, file, utilities, and then you get this, all done. Uh, so what you need to do, that's the first step, is now just go to the bottom here, uh, depending on your version of Windows, but you want to search for the database server manager. So uh, we just click here. And now, okay. So um, we want to browse for, so I did this step earlier, but if you browse and you go to C, uh, C users, public, public documents, uh, Intuit, QuickBooks and company files, uh, that file we saved to earlier, click start scan. Uh, what it's doing is just checking that that folder, your company files folder where you put your file earlier, it's just making sure that that folder is ready to, to host QuickBooks, uh, you know, is the other permissions okay? Are the is the file ready to go? Basically, uh, it will say it's successful. So we just click close, and that's it. That's all there is to it on that step. Um, so in the next one, uh, what we're going to be doing is opening MicroCloud for the first time. Sorry, opening QuickBooks for the first time in uh, my Quick Cloud. So if you have any questions, just open a live chat with us via our website or email us at support at microcloud.com.